welcome to a, another video. Today is a happy mail day. So I wanted to just quickly unbox this because I am so impatient and I just want to look at it already and I want to share with you guys. So this I purchased uh, during the Black Friday weekend. I think I got it on Saturday and Jaleo had their sale from Friday to Monday if I'm not mistaken and it is here it is about a week later um so yeah I am just so excited as you know I did move sizes and I just could not feel like I'm in a size unless I have a Jillio cover so without further ado let's get into the unboxing I just love how small this box is. I don't know if you can tell how small it is. Like, I mean, I have small hands. Um, but yeah, okay, here we go. So during the sale, it comes with a fountain pen of theirs, which is new. So let's see. Oh, shoot. I t untwisted the bottom. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it says iron what is it iridium point germany ignore my nails i was switching the ink on that pen and it um it kind of rattles um and it got on my finger but oh it has something inside what is that oh it has the cartridge inside and i can't get it out oh snap oh there we go so it has a black cartridge, and then it doesn't say what nib size it is, but I would say maybe like a medium is like generic. It's actually a decent weight, and then it came with extra cartridges. So I think these are the same cartridges for platinum, if I'm not mistaken. I can probably try to that's cool it came with all the cartridges um i don't have any more platinum i ended up selling those because i didn't have a pen that it fit but i remember it looking that way so that's kind of cool it came with a platinum a uh Julio fountain pen and so the cover that i decided to go with is the dark brown pocket XL and it is very textured I love the back it feels so nice and then I ended up choosing silver rings but now looking at it I kind of regret it and I wish I would have got gold no no you're not using the TV um but it is what it is i might try to maybe replace them because i don't know i get scared replacing them but i think i might be brave enough to do it this time and then they come with the original card with the number of like the cover and it has a secretarial pocket with three card pockets a little bottom pocket on the left it has a fly leaf and the inside is like that black velvety suede then the right side is just a secretarial pocket with a little zipper i did end up picking a black a gold with silver pen and i asked them for black ink so in case you weren't aware of that their generic is blue ink but i asked them for black and they are like twists they do have other options of the uh pool like just snap off cap but that one is twist and then it has the pen loop a silver um snap and a big back pocket i usually don't use a big back pocket but i think with this size it's very helpful like in case i have a letter i have to put or if you know i'm running to the bank and i 
want to put something in there you never know you know it's definitely helpful i notice it doesn't lay completely flat at the moment but over time it i can definitely train it so let's start moving in i don't think i'm gonna use the fly leaf right now i might add it in later i actually really like the texture of it it looks really beautiful and i don't even see like this was a premium good deal and then they had like i think it was 10 percent off or something like that which isn't a lot but i really wanted to cover i'm currently in the philo facts but let's move on over i'm probably gonna end up doing i don't like how that color looks on there the same um setup as this side i am probably not going to use this little delegation key that i have i definitely like this little card from jamel and if you guys haven't seen, I did just post my flip, um, and my setup is the same. So, yeah, I'm not going to flip through, like, what I have, but I'm just going to quickly go through um, how my things fit in here. I ended up making this monthly refresh card from a freebie that Penguin Paper Co. offers, I think. Or who is it? Yeah. Is it or is it eight lotus? It might be eight lotus. I don't know why. I, I think it's eight lotus, but they have like a a card freebie, and they are so useful. <laughs> Definitely not used to having dark brown, but I actually really like the layout of the planner. And I like that it has the two secretarial pockets. Oh, this one will probably look really nice. Nah, I'm probably just going to leave it empty for now. But if I want to put something in there, at least I have the option. I'll probably end up... Oh, I can probably put a sticker. I forget that I have, like, so many stickers, you guys. I'm sure you can all relate. So I think I just have to find... Oh, see, like, that would be so cute if it was, like, square. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, there we go. That's cute. I actually like that. So I'll just leave it like that for now. And if I want to change something later, obviously I can add as I please. But that's probably how I'm going to leave it for now. So let's compare quickly hopefully let me adjust you guys so you can see the sizing so let me there we go yeah the filofax is definitely smaller and i did kind of break like the front cover here and you guys can see there the ring size I want to say is the same I don't really see a big difference in it 
but I think the back plate definitely feels a little bit heavier. And then height wise, it's pretty much the same. You can see in the back, it's definitely a bigger back plate, but I want to be able to at least hold hopefully three months in here worth of um, weeklies and then dailies I'll probably do every monthly but we'll see usually in my rings I usually just do one month but I think I might have enough space because this definitely can fit a lot in here so yeah that's my new planner you guys and um if you guys have any questions feel free to leave the comment below and i'll get back to you guys or you can dm me on instagram and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye